Hello there, handsome. Mind if I just cuddle up next to you? I run the People's Own Organic Power Project, or the Poop Project. And we are an arts and education organization that blazes past the toilet taboo in order to simulate creative conversation about sustainable sanitation for the person, planet, and world community. But if we can't discuss a problem, we can't fix it. We all know that everybody poops, but we don't like to admit it. That's what the Poop Project is trying to change. Through art, theater, and education, we get people talking about their, well, you know, by boldly breaking wind and taboos and making number two our number one. Our poop is not a poison, necessarily. It's not a waste. It's actually a resource that we could be using, just like all of the waste we create. But right now, it's just falling through the cracks. We're standing at Newtown Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant, which is one of the world's best examples of a modern wastewater treatment plant. This plant has these giant digester eggs behind me. Well, they're eggs, and they're full of poop. And they're taking that poop, and they're putting it together with bacteria, and they're turning that poop into fertilizer. Newtown Creek is supposed to power 12,000 homes. Our poop is an enormous resource that we could be using. Milwaukee has been selling their citizens' poop as fertilizer since 1926. Right now, buses in Great Britain are fueled with man-made methane instead of gasoline. Innovative Omni processor technology in Senegal is transforming raw sewage into clean water. And water-free toilets fertilize crops in Haiti while keeping deadly cholera at bay. It can be done. Every child can have a chance because the resources they need are already inside of them. Often people ask me, why do you do the Poop Project? How did you get started? It came from me not loving myself and, and really specifically as a kid holding in my poop. There was a lot going on in my house as a kid and maybe some things felt a little out of control. And that's one thing I could control was what came out of my body. When I was in high school, I went to Spain for a study abroad program and I didn't poop for like two weeks. I was in a lot of misery. And I finally went to the toilet, it won't flush down. I have to go to my host mother, Maria Teresa, and say, hay una problema muy grande. <laughs> and, and she came and she saw it and she was like, oh, well that's why you haven't felt good. She really showed me that love and compassion. And it really was a, a life-changing moment for me. I realized this shame that I had felt partially was also because of the secrecy. Everyone was just disappearing and then they came back out and, and their experience was normal and mine seemed to be extraordinary. That's when I started to realize that poop is power and the shame that I felt as a little boy is a shame that all of us feel and it's taught to us by our society. But if we take our stuff and we hide it away and pretend it doesn't exist, that's when we get problems. Hey, you smell like my cousin Trudy. I wonder if that's where you came from. Is it? And we need to really get over this poop shame and start to love ourselves from the bottom up. So I do that in two ways. Well, I do it in lots of ways. But one is a show for grown-ups called An Inconvenient Poop that is really a TED talk about why we feel the way we do about poo, how it got to be that way, the problems our current system creates for our bodies, our planet, for people around the globe, and how we can all be a part of changing that situation just by coming out of the water closet and declaring loud and proud I'm a pooper. One of my big jobs working with the Poop Project is talking to the little children. Now, I don't know about you, but I have never met a kid who's poop shy. Well, they love talking about it, but then their grown-ups start to tell them, no, 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 that's a potty word. I think the reason they know it's funny to talk about poop is because we don't want them to talk about it. But Sean and me, we get kids having serious conversations about their poop, because there's no reason to be ashamed. And if you're looking at it, you might know something more about whether your body agrees with the food you ate. But you know, poop is a normal part of life, and there's nothing wrong with it. Why, I bet these friends here, I bet they're all poopers. Is that true? D do you poop? You know, like I said, Wanda, sometimes people are a little embarrassed to talk about poop. And that's why the Poop Project exists. 
We want kids to know that it's important they have a safe place to go potty at school, that if they haven't been able to poop for a while, they should tell a grown-up. Sometimes I like to ask new friends all the words that they know for the brown stuff that comes out of their bottoms. I see a hand back there, yes sir? Do, do. Yeah, don't be wrong. Do, do. Right here, yes miss? A dingleberry. I think that there are lots of reasons we should be talking about poop. It's the people's own organic power, just like Sean says. <laughs> I think it's about time for us to leave. Yeah, I think so. But maybe we can end with a great big fart. On the count of three to send us away. Here you go, you ready? One, two, three. 